Speed and Pace Handicapping Series continues, and this time we're going to take a look at the ESP running styles. You hear a lot about this, and I think even a lot of handicappers who have been handicapping for years are not quite sure what ESP means when sometimes they see those running styles or people are talking about them. I think people have kind of allocated their definition and have kind of change some of their definitions and actually throughout the years some people have actually added a few others like an early presser or a sustained presser but it really started out with the three racing designations as early presser and sustained and the early speed horse this is a horse who has been identified as a horse who must have the lead and what they get is is an e designation and then a presser, that's a horse who prefers to run four to seven lengths uh, behind the leaders. Um, they're not necessarily on the lead. They're not coming from the rear of the pack. Now, as the fields get smaller, you have to kind of adjust. And that's why you'll see horses that all of a sudden they've been an early horse for a few races. Then they go to an early presser or a presser. And maybe it's not so much of a change in running style it may be a change in pace or maybe a change in field side and then your sustained horses s style these are the horses that are in the rear of the pack back half of the field and five to seven lengths behind and they prefer to do their best running from the stretch call or from the half mile pole to the finish so EPS, E is the early. Now when you look at them, uh, we did a video, our first handicapping video in this series. You can see the link above to that video on the different race styles. Those actually factor in how the race was run. The EPS running style is actually handicapped into individual horses pace profiles. So a horse like Authentic is an E because he does his best running. And one of the things I think a lot of handicappers do is they'll go through and look at the past performances of the last four or five races, and they'll take all of their races. And really what you wanna take is, is horses when they run well or when they win, preferably when they win. So a horse might have three wins in their last 10 starts, but if their three wins were wire to wire, that's an E running style. That means they do their best running when they are allowed to be an E. Uh, if a horse has two wins in their last 10 starts and both those wins were from an S style, that means they prefer their best running style is an S and that's probably where you're going to see their better uh, Brisnet or Bayer speed figures. We'll be talking about speed figures in another video. So today we're concentrating on the EPS and one of the most powerful factors in horse racing is when you go through and you start to label these horses, you'll say, okay, this horse is an E, this horse is a P, this horse is a, is a sustained, is the, what they call the lone E. And that's when you get a five, six, or seven horse field, you handicap it through, and you see just one horse with the lone E designation. That means they have a good chance of going wire to wire, even if they don't have good recent form. If, they're, if their E wins are four or five races ago, but maybe the last few races they haven't been able to get an early lead and control the pace, then that's where they'll get that lone E running style. Now, if you get horse, a race where what I call a triple E, that's where you get three horses that have an E or an EP, that's when you start to factor in that the possibility of a pace meltdown. You may get some fast fractions, and that's when you may prefer more of a pressure or a sustained running style and that's where maybe you have a potential to get some of those pricier horses because as a rule, the lone ease and the early running styles are factored into the price. People do wager more on horses who have early speed because early speed does well in thoroughbred horse racing at most tracks on most days. So that's why you always have to start with your E style. Then when you take a look at your pressers and sustains, you know, then you want to maybe look at some of the adjusted fractions and we'll talk more about the fractions and future handicapping videos but that's what an EPS running style is you've got your early your presser and your sustained one of the most powerful factors in horse racing is the lone E and then if you have two or three horses with fast fractions and E designations those will be the horses that you end up 
with possibility maybe of a race meltdown or some speed figures that may set it up for a presser or a sustained pace. Now, post position can have a factor. Uh, sometimes I'll look at if a horse has two or three E victories, see where they came from from a post position or even a sustained. As a general rule, the, the sustained horse post position doesn't matter as much. So you do want to factor that in a little bit as well. But EPS running styles are to the horse, whereas in our first video we talked about the race pace style, which was your early, fast, and average. And then did they go fast, slow, or average at each of those uh, final race designation? So when you classify the race, you're classifying the race running style. Whereas when you're classifying the EPA, ESP running style, you're classifying an individual horse. So more on this handicapping series to come. What are your questions about ESP? Do you have any questions about an early oppressor and a sane, sustained? Remember, hit subscribe, share this video with your horse racing friends, and ring that bell for notifications as we continue to handicap pace, speed, form, and class in the thoroughbred horse racing cycle.